Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look briefly how to do Flutter Firebase pagination, which means that loading more data on demand as you scroll through. So here we have this uh, chatting app and over here we load more data from the Firebase and how to do that. Now I have this method which is called onready. Actually, this is part of GetX, but the same is applicable for block. The idea is same, exactly same. So anyway, so our Flutter GetX has a lifecycle method which is on ready. This gets called when you come to a certain page. Now over here, I am doing few things. I have a list actually where I save data, but once I'm on this on ready method, what I do, I'm going to, I clear the list, okay? So I wanna populate the list, put in the list fresh new data whenever I get data from Firebase. So at first I do this list over here and I clear it. And then from Firebase itself, we get a lot of data. So over here, you can see that we are fetching data from Firebase and we, for that one, we have our collection, a document ID, sub collection, and then we have some basic conversion of data. Like as we get data from Firebase, we convert the data from JSON to object using this with converter method. But anyway, the most important part is this one, which actually has to do with our pagination. Over here, we get the data order by what is the condition for that one? We use the time. So as we previously added the data, now we have a field in our Firebase, which is called add time. So descending true, and we get uh, 15 of them. So that's what we do over here. So we get first 15 data. And after that, actually, now inside this, we do listen to objects, uh, whether our data is being changed or not, but it's not part of the session. Anyway, so we insert all the data to our list. And this is the list actually I was talking about. Now, if you're just looking for Firebase pagination, this listen function, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it just for listening to changes in the Firebase. So you can skip this, this idea or section anyway. So earlier we have seen that over here, we cleared the data, right? We cleared the data. Now, once we get this 15 data from our Firebase, we save it in our list, as you can see. All right, and as we are using GetX, we let the UI know, okay, our data has been updated. Okay, that's what we do. Now, this is the basic part of pagination, okay? Well, and this is the first part. Now, there is a second part, actually. So we want to scroll through and in our scrolling section, now this is a scrolling object which is coming from scroll controller. Now this scroll controller actually listens to any scrolling. So as you scroll over here, after it mets a certain condition on the UI, then we actually load more data. So this function only gets called as you load, um, as you scroll again and again. So what's gonna happen over here, you see that first we loaded 15 data. Now, if we scroll it again, we wanna load more data. So let's go ahead and look at this function. Now this function is over here. Now, once again, we do the same Firebase query over here. We get the data from Firebase. Remember, we previously added 15 data in this list. Now, first we get the last value for the 15 data and the oldest one. So what we do over here, from that oldest one on, we take the earlier 10. So that's what we are doing over here, okay? Now, how to understand it better? So here I'm going to write it like this so that it makes more sense to you. So once again, try to understand over here. Earlier, we added 15 data in this list, and these are the 15 data, and each of the data, they have a timeline. So maybe the first data was added on the 11th August, the next one was added earlier time, which means maybe 10th August, and the last one, 15th one, maybe was added on the 8th August, okay? Now over here, we are doing this condition, we will, and we tell that, okay, whatever the data earlier than this 8th of August, get them, and how many? 10 of them. So that's how actually we are fetching the next 10 data, all right? And if we do that, we just once again, put all this data from this query, put in our list over here, so what is our list? This message content list, okay? And that's how the pagination works, pretty much, okay? Now, we have seen that this method, async load more data is inside a listener. So what it does, each time you scroll, it goes and gets more data for you, okay? And 
it remembers it always remembers the last time for the last data okay and based on that this condition actually is the core condition for pagination but anyway now let's show you an example and now let's come over here click on this so these are the first 15 data now as I scroll through it you'll see we'll load more data and you'll see that at the top we have this icon where it says that load more data okay so let's go ahead and check that so I think you have seen that load more data we already loaded see carefully at the top there was this load more data yeah so that's how you do the pagination from Firebase so that's how you do pagination on Firebase data thank you so much